CAAPM Enterprise Manager, is the core component of CAAPM that stores and aggregates application performance metrics such as response time, bandwidth, and memory allocation. It receives performance metrics from multiple Intrascope agents that allows users to collect metrics from supporting systems and application servers. It can be installed either in a standalone or a clustered environment. In this video, you will learn how to install CA Intrascope Enterprise Manager 9.7 on Windows. Double click the CA Intrascope Enterprise Manager installer file to start the installation. The installation and use of CA Intrascope 9.7 requires acceptance of the license agreement. Let's select the I accept the terms of the license agreement radio button and then click next. Next, select the installation set. Let's select the custom installation to install the individual components. Let's select the product components that we want to install. In the Choose Install folder window, accept the default installation directory. Specify whether to configure JVM settings for Intrascope components during the installation. If we select Yes, then we have to specify the JVM settings for each Intrascope components that we wish to install. Let's select the option No. For a production environment, you can use custom JVM settings, and then click Next to continue. Specify the location of the external components package. This installs and runs the Enterprise Manager and Web View. Accept the terms of the end user license agreement. Specify the Enterprise Manager connection port and web server port. Here 5001 acts as an Enterprise Manager listener port and 8081 acts as an Enterprise Manager web server port. In the Enterprise Manager Passwords installer window, choose whether to use user ID and password for the APM admin and APM guest roles during the installation process. Let's select Yes. With this the user's XML file has new passwords set for admin and guest users. These passwords are encrypted during the installation process. Choose the admin password for Intrascope login. Choose the Intrascope password for guest login and click Next to continue. In the Enterprise Manager clustering window, specify whether this Enterprise Manager will participate in a cluster. Let's select No, as we are installing a standalone Enterprise Manager. The Enterprise Manager automatically stores the transaction trace data. Here, we need to specify the number of days we wish to store transaction event data. Let's enter 14. Specify a directory to store the trace data. This allows the CA Intrascope to store the transactions and the length of time that CA Intrascope keeps the data. Next. We need to specify a directory for smart store and thread dumps. By default, the directory name is data and thread dump directory name is thread dumps. This allows the smart store to record all Intrascope data in this directory without the need for a database. A message window is displayed to confirm the Enterprise Manager data storage directory. This message is shown because the Smartster and Threadump directory are in same drive that is not recommended for production environment. Click Continue. Select various monitoring options that we want to enable. Select CAAPM integration for application delivery analysis. This allows end-to-end -end application response time monitoring. Next. Select the relevant SOA monitoring options. Select the CAAPM for SOA. This monitors and manages the complex SOA environment. Let's select Yes 
to configure the Enterprise Manager as a Windows service. Review the pre-installation summary of Enterprise Manager settings, and click Next. The Choose APM Database page is displayed. Here we choose to deploy the APM database on Postgres SQL. Select the appropriate option to either install the database, upgrade an existing schema, create a new schema, or connect to an existing instance. Let's select the install database. Specify the target directory for the APM database. Specify the APM database administration settings and click Next. Specify the database name, user, and password for the APM database. Review the settings of database configuration summary, and then click Next. In the Web View Settings window, accept the default HTTP port, and Web View Enterprise Manager host, and port. Here 8080 acts as a Web View port and 5001 acts as an Enterprise Manager Listener port. Click Next. Let's select Yes to configure the WebView as a Windows service. Review the WebView pre-installation summary and then click Install to continue with the installation. Click Done to finish the installation. Log in to the APM console to verify the Enterprise Manager and the related components are installed successfully. Thank you. For more information, visit www.ca.com education.